The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. On this episode of The Intrepid Show, we're gonna do something different. And uh, pagpasensya niya ako, meron akong lighting sa, ano, sa, <laughs> sa harapan kasi, uh, at may shadow ako dyan kasi sobrang, ano, sobrang madilim, makulimlim. And uh, uh, for some reason, uh, napaaga ako ng gising. Uh, I normally sleep at 4, or 4 to 6 a.m., tapos nagising na ako tanghali naggutom but anyway it's it's a, it's going to be a it's going to be a very different episode at this point and uh sana uh gumana tong ano na to mic na to I'll uh try to ano I'll try to uh have this ano I'll try to listen to this before ano before I uh go with the whole ano the whole uh the whole um, video. But anyway, we're gonna do something different. Absolute struck. Sometimes don't move. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm I'm Ian Trinion, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And welcome to another episode of The Intrepid Show. As I said in the intro, we're gonna do something different because... Uh, I've never done an unboxing before. Uh, na ni record ko. I did a lot of unboxings ever since I, uh, <laughs> ever since I bought something out of my own money. So that's that. Pero yun yah, yung legit na unboxing na sa sabi natin na para sa mga videos and all that. <laughs> this is gonna be the first time. And yes, you're right. I bought a cyclo computer. This is a Xos XA Oscar Sierra Sierra G Plus uh, cyclo computer. Uh, this cost me around uh, 1200 pesos. Around, uh, let's just say, um, less than $15. If, um, if there are any foreign audience, if there are any foreigners uh, watching. But yeah, I bought this because. Um, I just uh, have a hard time recording my rides using the phone that I'm using right now to record uh, these episodes and these videos on YouTube. So, you know, <laughs> ang ano, ang uh, naka, ano lang, naka lang. Kasi ever since I bought this phone and this is not even a year, a year old, nabubwisit ako sa, ano, sa GPS system neto. Kasi the last, I mean... Uh, this, uh, no, this phone and the other device that I was using back then to, uh, no, to record on Strava, it's, uh, no, eh, um, they're, they're the same brand. And, uh, yun, ito, ang difference lang, eh, maayos yung GPS nun, kaya kahit pa paano, mat, matinu yung, ano, matinu yung, uh, pag, ano, yung pag-record niya sa Strava. So, ang problema lang dun, uh, it's either the LCD is not working or it's uh, it's gone kaput altogether. So, I I wanted to check that out. Papa repair ko sana. It's an old tablet, but it's still working uh, until it wasn't. So, tingnan ko kung ano kung may ano kung may uh, pwede pang remedyo yon or baka ipa ano ko na ipa ipa ba ito, ito ipa benta ko na ng ano para sa bakal, I would have to ano, I would have to ask for Miss Intrepid's permission for that kasi galing yun sa kanya, binigay niya sa akin kasi <laughs> um, she was upgrading. So, kesa naman no, kesa naman hindi siya na, nagagamit, ginamit ko na lang. So, yun lang naman. Anyway, uh yeah, uh I'm also ano, I'm also uh <laughs> uh doing this while having ano, my first meal of the day tapos kape so tara kape tayo bakit ang dami ko pang pasakali let's 
let's go ahead and open this up. But I would have to get my you know get my knife to open this up. One moment, please. A few moments later. Yeah, right. I'm back. So uh, that's not a knife. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me go ahead and open this up. So. That's actually the main reason why I bought this. Uh, again, this cost me around twelve hundred bucks. That's a, uh, that's uh, around more or less fifteen, ten, fifteen U.S. dollars. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't uh, I didn't uh, converted it at uh, before this uh, before this video. But yeah, so. I bought it in a package in a package deal, so I have the Cyclo computer. It's it. This is how it looks like. So uh, I would have to sort this out. And what's what's uh, no, What's good with this is that it has an app on uh, no, on um, on Android. I'm not sure if there's also an app on, but you can definitely you know you can definitely uh, record this and then um, sync uh, this with. Uh, with your phone through the ZOS app and uh, probably you know probably uh, connected to Strava and that's one of the main challenges that I have. That's why I know. Uh, that's why I bought this. So, um, part of the package is uh, a handle mount so that I can actually you know I can actually uh, mount the cyclo computer in. But this um, this package already has um, a mount in itself but it's a uh, no it's a uh, it's a handlebar mount so uh you just have to fasten it with you uh, know with uh, a couple of you know, a couple of uh, rubber bands and then uh yun nga, you'll uh, know you would have to you uh, know you would have to fasten the thing in and then i also have a rubber sleeve a rubber sleeve or a rubber cover for the for the cyclo computer itself this is waterproof, uh, for I know for all I know, pero, uh, it's better safe than sorry. And uh, besides, I'm more on this. I always err or err on the side of caution. So, this is the first two that I uh, I have unboxed. So, squishy. Tapos, I don't know why there's cat ears dito. I don't know why, pero it has ano, it has its purpose for some reason. Mamayanin ko. Uh, I'll sort that out, and then, eto, I might, ano, I might uh, make this a multi-day video, kasi parang ito lang yung unboxing phase ng ano, ng uh, video, and uh, this is gonna be ano, this is gonna be a very ano, this is not gonna be a one, uh, one and done thing. So, it's a uh, it's a mount for the no for the cyclo computer uh, on the right side of the handlebar so ganito siya so in on your perspective ito yung gitna ng handlebar dito siya naka ano, nakalagay so i would have to adjust my uh, i would have to adjust the bike that uh, the handle the the accessories on the handlebar so that i can uh, fit this in so that's uh, and that's on uh, that's uh, what i'm going to do so yeah um tatanggalin lang to and then itatanggalin lang to yung, yung screw tapos i-fasten mo siya sa handlebar now uh ito ang maganda sa ano eh sa mga gandang packages eh you just uh dito you don't have to use a knife to open this up so you just have to peel this in peel this sticker and sorry ah wala Uh, it's now open. <laughs> okay, so this is basically the package itself, and uh, the package itself, and uh, as I said earlier, meron siyang ano, meron siyang um, rubber mount or ano yung handlebar mount. Uh, this is the rubber that ano that connects to the ano, that connects to the handlebar itself. Ito yung connect point. And then, uh, you just have to fasten it, uh, fasten it like so. Tapos, 
uh, in order to fasten it in, there's a couple of rubber bands. So, pa-X siya. Pa-X yung ano niya. Yung, uh, hindi, mali. Ito pala yung rubber. Mali ako. <laughs> so, it, just have to fasten it like so. Ganyan. Ito yung uh, handlebar. And then, you have the other, you know, the other rubber, rubber band goes such. Okay, so since wala pa to sa, ano, wala pa to sa bike, hindi pa siya nag-fasten na ganyan. But I'll also try this one. I'll, ano, if you feel test ko din to. So, uh, sabi ko if you feel test to. So, since ito ay, ano, right-handed, itong, ano, to, mount na to, I would put this on the left side of the handlebar. So, titignan natin, uh, parang, ya yeah, ano ko, if you feel test ko pareho. So that I can, ano, I can definitely, ano, I can definitely sort that out. And then, you have the USB charger. It's a micro USB charger. So, ito yung mga old style or yung if you phase out na sa, ano, if phase out na sa mga cell phones. So, if you have, ano, if you have uh, this kind of charger na micro USB, uh, you can actually, uh, not really ditch this, pero you can actually use, uh, use a micro USB charger to charge this. Pero, uh, given that it, has I mean I know give given a um, may sarili siyang charger I I might as well also field test this or test this out um inhanap ko nga yung power bank ko eh, kasi dapat yung power bank ko yung uh, pinang pinang ano ko dito sa ano sa lighting ko pero I'm also ano I'm also using uh another another boodle buy pero uh may pakinabang naman kasi it's an emergency power system slash radio. Uh, so, uh, as my solar power siya. So, yun lang. And finally, this cyclo computer. Now, uh, it's not the real, ano, it's not a, itong nakikita nyo, it's not real. It's, ano, <laughs> ano yan, ganyan siya, yung, ano niya, yung, oops, <laughs> yeah, uh, kumbaga, ano siya, um, <laughs> uh, it's ano, it's just ano, it's just for aesthetics. But anyway, this is how uh how small this thing is. So, ingat ako to, one to din to, <laughs> one to din to, makababayan. So, um, this is the um, ano, this is the rubber sleeve uh for the ano for the cyclo computer, and yung charger niya ay nandito sa likod dito ASMR. Ayan. Yan yung ano niya, charger niya. So, just in case that you need to charge it on the fly, or even, I mean, uh, you can charge it at home or even on the fly, uh, chuck, an, uh, chuck the charger in, tapos may power bank ka. You can charge it on the go. Ewan ko lang kung pwede yun. Ewan ko lang kung advisable yun. But, anyway, that's the function of this, ano, of this, of this, ano, uh, of these uh, cat ears or something. So, from where I see it, there are two buttons. There are two buttons here. Tanggalin ko muna. Tanggalin ko muna. So, as you can see, there are two buttons in this, ano, in this cycle of computer. The left side is play and pause. The right button is uh, reset and... Um, and the power button. So, let me go ahead and uh, uh, I mean, not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn this on right now. Pero uh, just to ano, just to let you know how it's ano, how it's being fastened to a bicycle. Ito yung ano, binili ko na ano, kasama nito. You see these grooves? Yeah. Nakatagilin siya. Tapos ito, naka, uh, harap. So, you would have to fasten it sideways. Oh well, ganyan. Fasten it like that hanggang sa mag-fit siya and twist it. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Weird. Hindi ko, di ko ma-twist to. Normally, ano eh, normally madali lang itong i-twist eh. Kasi ito yung... So you just have to twist it. 
like so. And yeah, your I know your cyclo computer is now fastened. So just to, to remove to remove it, just twist it. Tanggal agad. And then uh here in the handlebar mount, it's the same thing. And uh, mas madali yung, mas madali siya kasi it comes with ano, it comes with a device. So again, uh at yung ano niya, yung orientation niya dapat yung ano, yung grooves na sa ano, nasa taas at baba. Uh place the cyclo computer sideways para mag-fasten siya and then twist it. And dapat mag-lock siya na ganyan. Uh, maririnig niyo yung lock niya. And uh, it's fastened like that. Then, to remove, just twist it again. Tanggal na ulit. So, uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and tinker this thing. Uh, tinker on this thing and then, ano, uh, it, yeah, upload ko na rin sa, ano, sa Cyclo, sa, sa ZOS. Eh, download ko na rin yung ZOS app just to, ano, sort this out. And I almost forgot. It has user. It has user manuals. This was in English. I think this one is in German. Yeah, I think it's in German. Uh, Deutsch. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's in Deutsch, Français, Espanol, e Italiano. So that's German, French, Spanish, and Italian. Now, how about this manual? Aside from English, you have Korean, Japanese, and uh, Chinese characters. So this one, uh, yung may English, tapos meron siyang uh, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese characters. So uh, it has, uh, no, it ha- uh, the user manual is in eight languages. So uh, I might, uh, no, I might review the one with the Italian with Miss Intrepid kasi nagtuturo siya ng Italian. But I'll, um, but I'll, uh, no, I'll do it off cam. So yun lang naman. Anyway, uh, I hope my, ano, uh, I hope the, video is ano the hope i hope the video is uh sorted out i mean um good at this point so yun i might uh record myself uh installing the whole damn thing pero baka sa ibang araw na uh unboxing lang yung ginawa ko ngayon so yeah um uh, see you when i install this pero for now i would tinker this but again see you when i install this thing so, kakawi ko lang mula Intrepid HQ. I mean, gal- I mean um, dito sa Intrepid HQ. And uh, as you can see, the, the ZOS G Cyclo computer is uh, installed in the uh, handlebar mount. Pero, kinabit ko na din yung, um, yung extended mount. So, I already tried both. So, papunta eh ginamit ko tong ano ginamit ko tong um uh, etong uh, <laughs> ginamit ko tong uh, extended extended mount so yeah so ganyan siya ang disadvantage lang nito ay um oo nga may, may pitch siya it's ano it's tight pero uh, it doesn't have ano it doesn't have a locking system compared to the ano compared to the handlebar mount na nagka-click siya pag nagaano pag nagla-lock and uh, i had some miscalculations as well when it comes to ano and in, uh installing the ano installing the handlebar mount kasi um siguro for pure aesthetics eh, gusto ko rin sana ng gamit nato eh as you can see, this, as you can see, this siya masyadong gitna. So, uh, just have to, ano, sort that out. And anyway, uh, it just took me around one kilometer, almost two, 
uh, papunta dun sa pinuntahan ko, bumili lang ako ng merienda, and then uh, back again dito sa Intrepid HQ. So, uh, yun yung ano, yun yung uh, test run ko neto. I'll just upload it on Strava to, ano, for, ano, for uh, transparency purposes. And, uh, kung may napapansin ko yung, ano, isang bike dito, this is a dilapidated bike. Hindi ko alam kung paano nakakuha ito ni Father General, pero parang nakatambak lang siya, so, uh, uh, he's attempting to uh, restore this. Parang, hinahanap, parang, uh, pinapa, ano sa akin, pinapa, uh, hanap ako ng parts nito pero malamang sa malamang it would cost around 20 30,000 uh at the very least to ano to restore this bike in ano in full working condition so yun lang naman and this is the bike that I'm using no light blue yun so uh this is part 2 of the of the uh review of uh sauce uh G+ plus cyclo computer. So tanggalin ko na lang dito sa mount and then uh, i-upload ko na sa Strava. So it's past uh, 4 a.m. mga kababayan and uh, I really wanted to ano to uh, uh, cycle <laughs> para ma-field test ko tong ano uh, Zos uh, G Plus. Kaya lang uh, siguro na ano ka lang naisip ko lang yeah, it's, ano, um, Carlos Oras, I would have to get some sleep. Siguro, pwede yung bukas ng hapon, in and out, para lang, ano, para lang, maka, ano, makabili ako ng, ano, makabili ako ng big greaser, bike greaser, kasi, um, maingi na yung pedal, maingi na yung, ay, maingi na yung, um, kadena, hindi ko pa nalilinisan tapos ano namasa na siya multiple times so I have to take care of the bike after all and then bilhin na rin ako ng, ano, ng chain lube para malang, malangisan siya so good luck sa akin and uh, one last thing uh, maganda yung ano naging um record ng netong ano sos um G plus it's not uh it's not as accurate or it's not uh as straight as it should be pa pero pag tinitingnan mo sa Strava it's decent it's much decent than uh my previous ano than my previous um Strava rides i am absolutely ashamed with all of that <laughs> yun lang yun lang talaga. Anyway, nakalimutan ko pang ano yun, i ano sa Trax Philippines. So, maybe, um, ano yun ko agad. Sort out ko agad first thing when I wake up. So, yun. Sana umabot pa. <laughs> Kasi may time limit yun sa Trax eh. So, um, speaking of Trax, ano, uh, Shoutout nga pala sa Trax Philippines. I am awaiting ano, their um, uh, 1,000 pesos worth of ano, biscuits from Coca-Cola because I joined the raffle and I won. So, uh, tingnan natin uh, kung kailan siya, no, kailan siya darating. And at least uh, may biscuit supply ang Intrepid HQ. So, uh, shoutout sa Trax Philippines. And uh, do download the app. It's a Filipino startup, uh, it's a Filipino tech startup that is catered to uh, the Filipino uh, uh, Filipino athletic enthusiasts. Uh, currently, ang mga ano nila, ang mga in-offer lang nila ay cycling, running, and I think swimming. So, the triathlon, the triathlon trio. Pero, I just hope that... Um, the the app would ano, the app would uh, continue or sabihin natin ano uh, uh, expand to other ano to other sports so uh, 
good luck sa Trans Philippines and um, do download the app. I'll link the app in the description below. I'm not sponsored by Trax, pero pinapromote ko na lang din just to be ano, just to be sure. So, yun lang naman. And uh, siguro Sir Jim, next ay uh, tayo next next din ang i-develop or i ano, i-integrate ang Zos at lang iba pa mga ano, mga microcomputers para ano, para madali na lang din namin gamitin yun. Uh, yung yung app. So, yun lang naman Sir Jim. Baka naman po. <laughs> okay, uh Intrepidian on the road. This is gonna be part of the, ano, uh, yung um, Zos G Plus review. So as you can see, medyo nabasa ako ng ulan, and it was ano, it was very. It's my mistake. Na hindi ako nagano. Hindi ako nag. Uh, <laughs> uh, nagdala ng kapote, pero. Um, all's good in the hood dahil ano, meron ako dalawang dry bags so kahit pa paano everything's ano, everything is uh, still dry most of it uh, even though my body isn't and basa din tong bag ko pero may plastic para sa wallet and cell phone so uh, we're good with that now as you can see uh, that's my ano that's the so, uh, that's my unit of the ZOS uh, G Plus sorry Ayan. So, uh, mabuti na lang din at ano, at uh, umulan, parang ano na siya. Uh, <laughs> ito, ito, uh, environmental field test. So, uh, currently it's uh, 2016 hours, 8.16pm. And uh, so far in this ride, naka... 27 kilometers na ako. It's a good thing din na ano, na ano siya, na, uh, ano yun? Na, uh, hindi siya touch screen. Kasi kung touch screen yan, it's kaput. That's for sure. And, uh, yun nga, uh, so currently, I've been, uh, uh, riding for two hours now. Uh, technically, two hours. Pero, uh, mga alas 4, alas 3 pa lang, ano, naka, uh, tato, umalis na ako na Intrepid HQ. So, I had a few stopovers. Uh, I had a, I had a few stopovers. And, uh, hindi ko kinount yung mga, ano, yung mga, uh, di, hindi kinount ng, ano, ng computer na yan, yung, ano, yung mga, ano, yung mga times na nag, ano, ako, nag-stop ako. So, uh, so far, so good. Battery is good. Chinarge ko siya para ano para may ano ko kumbaga kasama siya sa field test and since medyo tumila na yata ang ulan uh, I might as well go ahead and go home baka buntalan na ako pag uwi ko so uh, yeah I'll just finish I'll just cut this video I'm gonna head off uh, see you in Intrepid HQ one eternity later so it's been a few days after, after I got this um, ZOS G Plus Cyclo computer and here are my thoughts and um, about this uh, about this computer and kung may kung uh, tumitingin ako dito ibig sabihin lang na meron akong notes as you know I tend to forget the things that I say so this helps so first of all the time is in 24 hours format now there are uh, some people who don't like it Uh, kasi military time, you know, uh, pagdating ng 1pm, 1300 hours na. As for me, I do prefer it actually kasi uh, it distinguishes kung ano, kung umaga, umaga na o hapon na. O umaga pa lang o hapon na. Uh, especially when I go on long rides. So, uh, even though it's common sense na ganun, uh, as someone who is neurodivergent, syempre naisip ko, 1 o'clock. Anong 1 o'clock? AM, PM. Di ba? Siyempre, ano, siyempre magtataka ka pa rin. Kung baga, I have a brain that is uh, a little bit um, different from yours. So, please, ano, so, please uh, somehow uh, make it direct to the point. Di ba? Yun. Kung baga, this is just my personal pre- preference and and it's not everyone's. 
you do you pero uh you can take it as an advantage or as a disadvantage for my uh, of on my end it's an advantage na uh, naka military time to lalong lalo na kapag ano kapag um kinaka ring i-check yung kung ano oras na so pag nakita ko 1500 hours na alas test na um uh, i'm recording this at 6:21 pm that's 18:21 hours uh UTC plus 8 so yun then um the backlight for this ano may backlight to may backlight etong ano to cyclo computer to but um some people that i have talked to uh said na optional yung backlight so pwede mo siyang ano hen pwede mo siyang tanggalin through the Zos uh, app on the uh on your phone basta naka-connect na to yung cyclo na to sa phone mo by via bluetooth dapat nakabukas to tapos naka-on yung ano yung uh bluetooth na itong phone so you can actually do that you can actually um opt out uh the backlight option para ano para tumagal yung ano yung battery life ng ano ng uh ano niyo ng cyclo computer niyo then um what's good about this is that sin eh, ito, it's the activities that you have recorded here are not only recorded on the Zos app it, you can also sync synchronize it with Strava so you don't need to use the phone to uh basically track the whole damn thing uh and uh that's basically what i have been and uh, what i have been struggling with for the past few months before this uh, before this baby came along and uh ayun uh malaking tulong siya kasi i i it, kumbaga na free up yung phone ko pagdating sa ano sa kung ano man ang gusto kong gawin and and sa, uh, ang gusto kong gawin ay gumawa dito magpatugtog habang nagba-bike uh in such a way na naka bluetooth speaker and i do have a bluetooth speaker actually i-review ko din yan uh in the future kasi um it has its own ano capabilities and um nakamyo ko na siya dun sa ano sa isang video ko so yun however uh even though you can sync the the rides to Strava you may need you may still need the Strava app for you to upload uh photos and videos uh on the app kasi nga naman meron mang nagsasabi pics or didn't have happen so <laughs> ayun uh especially ano lalo na din especially if you need to edit the whole damn thing kasi kung ano kung hindi naman kayo ganoon katamad uh why not diba why not tapos ang maganda dito is uh there's another um feature about this that is unique to this ano to the cyclo computer and it's the auto pause feature i'm i'm sure there are other there are other cyclo computers that have the auto pause feature pero dito merong meron siyang auto pause and um to be honest it's a two edged sword kasi uh first of all it's an advantage because I suspect this myself to have ADHD uh aside from being autistic so ADHD na so uh it's good if you're just trying to uh cycle and track katulad ng ginagawa ko uh kumbaga pag nagano pag huminto ka hihinto din to naka auto pause so huminto ka hinto hinto din to uh you can stop it manually by pressing this button pero kung ano kung tinatamad ka Uh, pwede na yon Kaya lang ang disadvantage nun, kapag naka-auto pause ka, hindi ka agad matatrack kung nasan ka. Lalong-lalo na kapag uh, medyo makapalang foliage, uh, yung mga puno, mga buildings, and all that stuff. Uh, so, the GPS signal cannot be tracked uh, if there are a lot of trees around. So, yun lang yung disadvantage nito So, uh, y- uh, yun lang ang problema. So it would be uh nice if uh, you can have uh, you can actually uh do it as a habit na stop mag-stop ka kaagad kapag ano kapag uh hihimpil ka sa ano sa hihimpil talaga pag ta- pagtatambay ka and then saka mo lang siya i-start ulit kapag talagang ano ka na magawa ka na yung auto pause pag ano lang uh just for water breaks and uh for water breaks and uh sabihin na natin ano um Uh, mag memeryenda saglit and then uh, pajak ulit pero kung yung mga tulad ng ano tatambay ka sa mga ano sa mga uh, cycling ano cycling venues katulad sa Kapihan sa Bukid near Vermosa 
or sa ano sa uh, kainan sa Direna or sa Daang Reina, puro mga salte eh. pero uh, or and, or any other ano or any other place na tambayan ng mga siklista uh, you can you can actually uh, press this to pause and then saka saka mo ulit i-press para mag-play ulit pag ano na pag papadyakan na ulit but again it's a two-edged sword so uh, kung neurodivergent ka na na, na pumapadyak katulad ko this is a this, this is an advantage kasi at the very least ano um you can accurately track <laughs> where you're going uh, at hindi yung tatalon-talon ka sa Strava <laughs> if you know what i mean i i do ano i do <laughs> uh have a lot of ano a lot of uh rides na, na ganun and uh, I'm absolutely ashamed of that so ayun lang and I guess that's the only uh, those are the only things that I wanted to say about this ano about this thing uh final thoughts siguro uh this is a good starter cyclo computer a very good starter cyclo computer kasi uh ito na yung isa sa mga pinakamura out there This is the one this is one of the most affordable in the market and uh practically I want to I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh use this for uh for more f- for further field tests kasi yung mga yung ginawa ko mga field test um if you check my Strava uh, it's intrepid yan din yon by the way on Strava uh puro nilalagay ko na field test pa lang yung ano yung ginagawa ko dito and uh, the last one is endurance and elevation so um it passed uh with flying colors not necessarily ano not necessarily perfect pero uh at least ano it's as accurate as it can be um given the gps situation here in the philippines so uh yeah i um maganda siya ano maganda siyang ano uh it's just ano it's just nice na ganun na ganun yung ano na so uh final thoughts Uh, this is this is a good starter cyclo computer. If you can, I know if you can, if you wanted to uh, purchase it, I would link where I had where I, where, I purchased, where I purchased it in Lazada in the this photo in the in the YouTube description um, below. So, uh, kung gusto yung bilhin, um, go ahead and uh, and do so. Uh, I'll make sure to uh, I'll make sure to uh, link it there. Uh, kung sakali na gusto niyo talaga ng cyclo computer at medyo nababanas na kayo sa mga phone lalong-lalo na kapag uh, GPS at uh, ito naman problema siya sa GPS so i guess that's uh, all i wanted to say about this ano, about this uh, about the Zos G plus so that's my review of this this very nice cyclo computer so if you wanted more about if you wanted more reviews like this i do uh Um, I do hope that you would uh, like this video and uh, share it around if you wanted to uh, uh, have have my you know have my say on it. But don't take my word for it. Uh, marami ding mga ano magagandang reviews uh, sa YouTube na ano ng, ng Zos G Plus. So don't take my word for it. Uh, I'm I'm this is just my own ano this is just my own uh, review. Um, cross reference it as well with other and you know, with other creators who are the other with other um with other creators out there na ni review din tong ano to cyclo na to so uh i do recommend that also um if you wanted to um follow me around i I'm, i'm an uh, i have all of my socials uh, mas uh involved ako sa ano yun? sa YouTube tsaka sa Facebook not ne- not ne- necessar- ne- not necessarily on Instagram or on Twitter or X whatever It's Elon Musk whatever but I do hope you would subscribe to my YouTube channel Intrepid Ian Danyon and ring the notification bell by selecting all and um, I do have uh, cycling uh, videos as well so uh, do uh, do check that out gagawa din ako ng playlist um uh, after the fact or or if ever on uh, my upload ko na to eh meron na so uh, i guess that's all that i wanted to say at this point yeah this is, that's all that I wanted, i wanted to say at this point so uh, with all that said this is Antepedi and Dinyon reminding you to you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world until then 
look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other. If you're a cyclist, always remember if you're a cyclist, wear a helmet, wear a helmet, and invest on a helmet, not on cleats. Mas importante ang ulo kaysa sa paa. Okay? And uh, always remember, remember, don't be a bloody gem boy. Yun lang. And as always, thank you for watching. From here in Intepid HQ, ride safe, and see you next time. Ian out. <laughs>